welcome! Today the setting is looking a little bit different than what you're used to and that's because today I'm not in my reptile room, today I'm actually downstairs in my living room and there's a very specific reason for that and it's sitting right here behind me. A lot of you guys have been requesting more videos on my birds and told all of you I would absolutely love to do it. So today we're going to have a look at my two blue and gold macaws, Sammy and Maggie. My two blue and gold macaws, Maggie and Sammy. They're both one year old and was born actually just a few days apart in June 2016. They are from different parents. When blue and gold macaws pair up, they pair up for life. And luckily these two has. So hopefully in a couple of years, we will be able to breed them. When you're having macaws at home, you will have to deal with it constantly being dirty. And it will be. Macaws, they are so messy, you won't believe it. Which means that I vacuum at least once a day. And no, I'm not kidding you on that one. You may be wondering how we can tell one from another. Uh, Sammy has a white toe as you can see here and Maggie does not have that. Maggie has completely black nails or black toes as we call them but Sammy he has the single one white toe. Back in February, that's when we brought our two parrots home and it was such an amazing day. We were so happy. We have been visiting them a couple of times before bringing them home and that also gave us quite some time to get everything ready for them. Especially the swing that they are sitting on, that's one we built before we got them so everything was ready for them. Maggie and Sammy are so different and, and so alike. They have such different personalities and they really want to join in on everything we are doing. So no matter where we are, usually they will follow us, just making sure everything is okay. This is actually a chew toy for a dog, but it's great entertainment for, for the birds and they really enjoy eating them. Except for Maggie here because she's going to find something else. Maggie really likes the mice and rats for some reason and she really really likes the pellets that they are getting. And often when I'm not looking like right here she will actually sneak down and take one. Usually I'm not allowing her to do that because she makes such a mess when she's eating them. As often as we can we bring them outside. They're only one year old, so they're still very, very young. They are fully capable of flying. Their wings are not clipped or anything like that. And it is our big dream to actually have them free fly once they're ready. Right now, I'm not much into the idea because we live in the middle of the city and I'm dead scared that they're gonna get hit by a car or something like that. But we are gonna see if we can find somewhere where we can train them to free fly. That would be an absolute dream. We usually bring them out when, whenever we can and we just recently started to take them outside without their harness on it they're not they don't particularly fancy their harness actually they are a bit afraid of it so we really try to to see if we can have them with us without it of course markers they need to eat and for that they do have these pellets they have them available at all times and every day morning and night we give them some fruits and vegetables it's very important that markers they have a very varied diet so Every day they basically get something new, although bananas and apples are the thing they get the most. Luckily we do eat quite a lot of vegetables and fruits ourselves, so there's always something for the parrots or the mice and rats to enjoy. They also do get the occasional nuts, not too many of them, they can be a bit fatty, but they do get a snack every now and then. We usually try to put in different nuts and different dried fruits every day, just so it's not the same thing every day. Uh, today they are getting broccoli as their vegetables, yesterday they got beans. They really seem to enjoy that everything goes down. They're not picky with what they eat, I can tell you that. For the water, of course, they get fresh water several times a day because they are very, very quick to make it dirty and I always put vitamins in to make sure they get everything they need. So as you can see, this is a meal for kings. <laughs> Sometimes the parrots, they do eat better than I do. This 
This is Maggie, she's just having a look at what we're doing. Usually we keep all the food inside their cage because they're so messy when they're eating, but sometimes I really like them to eat as I'm eating. So they will be eating from a bowl of food right next to me. I've heard that it does create bonding as well, so we're really keen on that. Like I said, we've only had them for a little over a half a year now, so we're really still trying to keep this bonding thing going strong. This is their case, this is where they stay when we're not at home. We give them branches from outside to kind of mimic how it is in the wild. It's better for the feet to have these more natural branches. When we're home, of course, they spend most of their time on this swing. And if you have parrots, I can highly recommend building one of these. It's absolutely amazing for keeping them occupied and they are so enjoying it. They spend most of their time on this swing, especially if we are in the living room as well. Of course I gather all the feathers, they are really amazing, I absolutely love the feathers. When they drop them, I usually wash them and then dry them so they're looking pretty nice. Like I said before, the parrots, they have such personalities, they really are their own and they're so amazing, they really are. They give so much back. If you give them a little bit of love, they will give you tenfold back. In the beginning I was very scared of their beak, I'm not that anymore. They can bite quite hard, but they've learned they're still babies, you have to remember that. And they have learned that biting hard hurts us, so they really try not to do that. Of course, sometimes they get scared and we can get a bite, but usually they are the cutest. And they use their beak, of course, to test things and all that kind of stuff. They're really curious, they're really amazing, they're very intelligent and they always surprise me. They are beginning to talk, they can say hi. Uh, in the Danish language of course and we are teaching them to say I love you and they are also very close on learning how to say good night. This is one thing that I particularly enjoy, this is bathing them. In the beginning they were a bit scared of the water, so it has taken us a lot of time, but it has really paid off. As you can see, they are so enjoying it. I absolutely enjoy doing it, and as you can hear all the screams, they are like screams of joy. They are really, really enjoying this. This is Maggie that's mostly in the shower, she's like the boss of the relationship, and Sammy is... <laughs> what can you say? Sammy is waiting for her to be done. But Maggie really does seem to be enjoying the war, she absolutely is. As you can see, she's wagging her tail. It's so fantastic to see and I really, really enjoyed it. Actually, today uh, was the first day that Maggie actually asked to get a bath. Usually I offer them like once a week or something like that. But today Maggie, she flew into the bathroom herself twice and the second time I found her in there, I thought that she might be, she might be telling me something. So I tried to turn on the water and she immediately jumped in. So she was just telling me that she needed a bath. It is quite amazing how you are capable of communicating with them since they are quite intelligent. But macaws, they are really truly something special. They really, really are. I absolutely adore them. I love them so much. Sometimes when they scream, you can become quite irritated, but then you just need to, you know, walk to another room, just take a deep breath and then go back in. That's when reptiles are a lot different than that usually, they are a lot more quiet than parrots is. Alright, that was the bath. Time to shake off for the day and later on when it's dark they will go back to sleep. Alright guys, that's all for today. I really do hope you enjoyed meeting Sammy and Maggie. I'm pretty sure they did. Please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. <laughs> it really does mean a lot to me. And while you're at it, just hit subscribe on that channel. Do remember we have a Facebook group now, so if you haven't joined us yet, please come and do. There are some amazing people in there. As usual, you can find me on Instagram under the name Justice Jungle. Thank you guys for now and bye bye!